Hey guys, Charles here again with another informational video from Iron Rods. How to order rods. Ordering drapery rods at ironrods.com is so easy. Whether you're using a computer, a tablet, or a mobile phone, it only takes a minute to order a custom drapery rod. First, I'll show you how to place an order using a computer. Open the web browser. In the web address bar, type ironrods.com. Now you're on the Iron Rods homepage. Click the Collections button in the top menu. There are four categories you can shop. French return rod sets, finial rod sets, inside mount rod sets, and parts and accessories. Let's order one of our most popular rods together, a French return rod set. Scroll back up to the French return rod sets and click shop collection. As you can see, there's plenty of information about our rod sets. Once you're finished looking at the images and reading about our rods, scroll down to where it says price or order a French return rod set. Here we'll select the size, color, and other options for our rod. In question one, we choose our rod diameter. For most rods, a one inch diameter is perfect. However, sometimes a smaller 5 8 diameter rod is a good choice. Like for a cafe rod, doors, or side lights. Let's select one inch diameter. Next, we select a color. To see a bigger image of rod color, you can hover over the color finish image. You can also order color samples from our parts and accessory area. For this rod, let's choose raw iron, our most popular color. It's a very dark brown, almost black. In section three, we provide the width of our rod in inches to the nearest eighth inch. If you have questions about measuring, click the how to measure video link. Next, we choose how far we want our rods and brackets to stick out from the wall. One inch rods can project three inches to the center or five and a half inches to the center. Five eighths inch rods are only available with three inch projections. For most rods, a three inch projection is plenty. However, if you have large blinds or other objects that extend out from the wall, a five and a half inch projection may be a better choice. In question five, we select how many drapery rings you want to order. The amount of rings required depends on your drapes. A good rule of thumb is to count the number of pleats, add one ring for each pleat, add two additional rings at the ends of each panel. For plat panels, using a ring every five to seven inches is usually sufficient. For more specific information, you'll need to contact your drapery manufacturer. Your rod may require C-rings. Click the Water C-rings video link to find out more. At the bottom of the page, in the Upgrade My Rod section, you'll have the option of adding slide tape or pull wands to your rod. Check out the videos to see how these products can make opening and closing your drapes smooth and effortless. Now that you've entered all your rod information, Scroll back up to see the price and select how many of this particular rod you want to order. If you plan to order additional rods, it's a good idea to label each rod so you know where they go. You can select a room and even add a description. Now let's add the rod to our cart. The shopping cart page shows a brief summary of the items you've added to the cart. For this order, we only have one rod. From this page, you can edit a rod, remove a rod, save the order as a quote, or keep shopping to add more rods to your order. Let's go ahead and click checkout so we can complete this order. Box 1 is where you change your shipping address. If you've ordered before, you'll see your default shipping address in this box. You can click the change button to add or edit address or to switch to local pickup. Box 2 is shipping method. Standard shipping is selected by default, but you also have the option to upgrade to express shipping. Box 3 is order priority. Standard order is default. You can also upgrade to a rush order. Box 4 is where you add or change your payment method. If you've ordered before, your default payment method will be here, and you'll just need to add your card verification number. You can also select from your saved cards, or click the change button to add or edit payment methods. Box 5 is where you can review your order details and make sure everything's correct before placing the order. Box 6 is your order summary, showing the cost breakdown. Now that we've entered all our information and reviewed the order details, we're ready to click place order. Now your order has been placed and you will receive an email confirmation shortly. You can check the status of your order anytime by clicking My Account in the main menu. In the orders list, you'll see the status of each order. You can also click Details to get more information about a specific order. At the bottom of the Orders Detail page, you'll see the order status and tracking information. It's just as easy to order a rod on a tablet or mobile phone. Now that you know how everything works, I'll quickly walk through ordering a rod using a phone or tablet. Open the web browser on your device and go to ironrods.com. Click the menu button in the top right corner, then click Collections. On the Collections page, under French Return Rod Sets, click Shop Collection. Just as before, we'll make all of our selections, then add the rod to our cart. On the cart page, everything looks good, so let's proceed to checkout. In checkout, 
All the information from our previous order is selected by default and correct. So let's click place order. It's that easy. Once you place your first order, you can quickly place additional orders in seconds. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or need further assistance ordering, just fill out our contact form or give us a call. We're always happy to help.